I actually already installed Meteor. If I do Meteor, you'll notice that I have it on my computer now. So what we want to do is create a new project and I'm going to call it Meteor-View. And this is going to create the project and install the NPM packages needed for it. And as you can tell, we have a couple guiding commands here. We need to change into the Meteor view folder that we created. And then we can issue the Meteor command to start it up. Let's go ahead and change to Meteor view and then fire up the application. So this is going to build the app and serve a development environment for us. All right, so going here into localhost port 3000, you can tell we have a Meteor application. So welcome to Meteor, and this will count how many times we've clicked on that button. We also have a couple links here that we can go visit. Uh, but in the meantime, this is the application. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually open up this folder in a text editor. In this case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And let's move over here, the browser. I'm going to do a couple tweaks so that we can see better what's going on. And just give me a second now. That will do for now. So this is what the Meteor project looks like, except for the .vs code. This is created by the text editor. And you can tell we have a .meteor folder, which will explore in the future but there's that we also have a client and server folders as well as our node modules folder over here alongside with our package.json file so in the end a meteor application is a node app and this is what it makes it so interesting the whole idea behind meteor was to have a full stack development environment where JavaScript was the language to be used. So if you recall, whenever we start up the application, we said we are building the app, but we are actually also having access to a MongoDB instance. So MongoDB will give us also JavaScript-like syntax for our database. And this is how Meteor presented itself when it was created. A full stack solution for JavaScript to be able to build your applications. We'll discover more about this in the future, but let's go ahead and continue learning what it has in here. So you can open up the client folder and see that we have CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Starting on the HTML, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a funky syntax going on here. And if you're familiar with something called handlebars, it will resemble that. So this is called Blaze. And Blaze is the original front end framework or library that Meteor created for their solution. And we have to remember that this was created on 2012, more or less. And AngularJS, Vue, React, those libraries and frameworks were were not going to be available until later. So this is part of the legacy of Meteor. And it's actually very useful. You can do a lot of things. But this series is about view. So we're actually going to get rid of all of this. I just wanted to give you a quick tour on what the right of the box application would look like. So you can tell it's using already newer syntax for JavaScript, but it's uh, slightly different 
library than we're used to with using Vue or React or something like that. Okay, so yeah, you control the templates from here, the ones that you create. You render them via this syntax, and then you can control different parts of what they do with the JavaScript, right? And we also have the CSS, in this case is vanilla CSS, if you will. But since I'm running the application, as you can tell here, I want to show you something. So let's make that the background color and the foreground will be white smoke. You see, it instantly changed the CSS on my application. This means that Meteor in itself is not just the framework for building things, but also the infrastructure to create a development environment and eventually also a production environment, as we will see, hopefully. And this was very, very appealing to me at the time when I learned that this existed because there's no configurations need to be made. Um, this was created prior building systems like Webpack or Rollup and before having Gulp, before having all those task runners and things, Meteor was already bringing in via JavaScript tooling all this development experience. So this is why it was very, very appealing to me from the early days. 